Human beings are works in progress that mistakenly think they're finished. The person you are right now is as transient, as fleeting, and as temporary as all the people you've ever been. The one constant in our lives is change. Daniel Gilbert So a couple months ago, I was scrolling through my Twitter feed and I stumbled across this one tweet. I literally can't wait to get my own little studio apartment and buy a bunch of bookshelves and store all my books alphabetically. Now on the surface, this is a pretty shallow tweet. However, when I read it, it made me feel really strange. Uh, when I first made this tweet, it was October of last year. And now I'm sitting here filming this and it's surreal to believe that a little over a year later, I'm living in my own little studio apartment with bookshelves and lots of books. It's absolutely mind boggling to realize just how much change I've been through uh, since moving to Ottawa. This time in my life has arguably been the most transformative period I've experienced thus far. And this got me thinking, how do other people, namely students, perceive change? Honestly, I think that change is something that we have to go through in life to be order, in order to just continue and move on in society. But I think that for me, the biggest change that happened in my life is probably university because I'm lucky not to have had huge things happen in my life that impacted me. But yeah, I think that university would be the biggest one and jumping in from high school to university was very big and I'm I guess I could say I'm not afraid of change. Change just happens as you go along in life. But you know what, you realize that you need change when everything else fails. Anticipated change is the change that you want to make. That's true, actually. But the change that you just come across on a regular day is change that you don't want to have. Yeah. Because like I'm not afraid of change, but if like something was to change unexpectedly that I didn't want it to, like it would annoy me a lot. Because <laughs> I like having my life I think planned out the way I like it. So definitely, if things were to change without me knowing or wanting it, that would be annoying for sure. But, I don't know. A lot of what we talk about in school though is like don't make sudden changes for your like class. Like don't tell them, um, you have to tell them what we're doing every morning or like at least a week in advance. But then I'm like sitting in an actual school and today we were supposed to have like language and we did four periods of social studies and like throws the kids off but like that's real life, kids. <laughs> not gonna, something's gonna happen, you're not gonna expect it. You just have to deal with it, I guess. I also think I just figured out a way to put it all into proportion in a school sense because we learn a lot about how transitions are really important in a classroom. And I think transitions are really important in life too. Quick changes are not something that you overcome easily. Um, but when you transition into, let's say, a new person year to year, or like the person that we were at the beginning of university compared to now, I feel like that was a change that transitioned throughout the time. And so that you can overcome slowly as opposed to all at once. And I actually think a lot of change, like individually, whether it's like your personality or your career is something that you don't actually notice. Because um, I feel like you wake up one morning and you're like, oh my gosh, I used to be totally different. Like, 
I used to not care about this, this, and this, and I used to care about something else, and now I'm here. But I don't think it's a thing, like, I wouldn't look at myself and be like, oh man, on Monday I was a completely different person. Because I think personal change doesn't happen that fast, or you don't notice it that often. Um, Monday, October 12th, 2020, even, 20, like, I, would I was going to go back even further to like yeah. 2012 when we started. Oh, I feel yeah. like we're very different people than when we yeah. became best friends. So it's like, it's a weird I think even like change. the summer between high school and your first year of university or college too is like one of the biggest years that you change. Because um, I think you start to realize that like, all these little things or like you know does so and so like me does so and so want to be my friend all those little things don't matter and i think actually a lot of teaching is reminding kids that what's going to matter most to them in 20 years is not what matters most to them now and, and like, things that they like and dislike are going to yeah. change as well because if you think back coffee is like my best friend but when i started university i, I thought coffee. it was disgusting yeah. and like <laughs> wine didn't like that either and now I love it so taste buds yeah. change your body changes and then you gotta kind of embrace it Change is a very scary concept to probably everyone. Um, it's just hard to accept change and to realize that your life might not be what you're familiar with and what you know. So the future is a scary thing. Uh, you can never predict what will happen. One little decision can change your whole path for the future. Um, the biggest change coming soon is that I'm going to be going to study in Dublin next semester and I'm terrified, but also very excited. Um, but it's gonna be very scary because it's gonna be my first time living on my own and living away from home as well, um, and in a different country where I'm not too familiar with the culture and I don't know anyone over there.